Hey there, hello Moon. Today I want to talk about the perfect behind me. The Turning Torso is one of the trademark buildings in Scandinavia, in this case in Malmö. It is one of the tallest buildings in Europe, while other trademark buildings such as the Elbphilharmonie in Hamburg or the Sydney Opera House in Australia, which I will also talk about in this video, um, are more or less open for the public. The Turning Torso is only built or conceptualized for living purposes. The Turning Torso is, as same, is the same as most trademark buildings had a riddled building process so a lot of money was involved a lot of politics were involved as well as during the process the project blew up in a case in the case that it cost more money than expected the inhabitants and the taxpayers who were also more or less part of this project were turning more and more against it as well as the fact that a trademark building, which should more or less represent a city, but with no public purpose. And especially in a country such as Sweden, where people tend to be as equal as possible. And especially since Sweden is more of a socialist country, the turning torso has upset a lot of people. So I want to compare it a little bit with the Elbphilharmonie in Hamburg and the Sydney Opera House. The Turning Torso is only built for residing purposes. Elbphilharmonie Hamburg as well as the Sydney Opera House were built with a clear purpose of accessibility for everyone who is interested in that building. So even though you're not paying the money for a ticket, you're still able to have a look inside the building even though you're not able to enter all parts of the building while the turning torso is completely closed for the public the turning torso was built to um, show how great more or less scandinavia is or in this case the building company which um, were interested in having a monumental building in scandinavia but while having that thought and the idea this whole project didn't pan out in the way the original planners had in their minds because of the fact that the turning torso was more or less an example of how you can live a very prestigious life in a socialist country. So Sweden has the approach of everyone in the country should live more or less the same way it sh there shouldn't be like a big gap between rich and poor people or in any way there shouldn't be any big differences between the poor and the rich so the turning torso was f one of the first buildings in Malmö which showed very clearly how the rich and the poor can be distinguished while you have the harbor area where the turning torso is standing uh, you have the poorer areas in Malmö which are located in the southeast of Malmö such as Rosengård which um, upset a lot of the inhabitants of Malmö and in the end uh, was more or less a big PR disaster for Malmö and the project planners of the turning torso. The Elbphilharmonie in Hamburg didn't pan out in the way it should be. Um, at the beginning, I'm not sure when it was actually planned, but I think it was like planned more than 20 years ago with a plan that it'll cost 7 million euros. There was some blackmailing and some ill-fated project planners involved. Um, 2007 or something, a new project planner came into play and estimated that the Elbphilharmonie might cost 70 million or was already at the verge of costing 70 million euros so it was already 10 times more and in 2013 uh, the project planner said that eventually when the Elbphilharmonie will be completed in 2015 or 16 which was um, 
yeah, with a lot of delays, um, well, at least they got a release date or a plan when the whole Elfil harmony will be finished. Um, the estimated or the final costs in this case uh, were around 750 million euros or something. I didn't look everything up on Wikipedia. Those are only the numbers I have in my head. The Philharmonie in Hamburg, when it comes to financial aspects, a complete disaster. But on the other hand, the mayor of Hamburg, the estimating of the costs, in the end, the project or the uh, Sydney Opera House um, costed, I think, nearly the same as uh, the Elb Philharmonie. Um, so more than 100 times than the estimated costs. I don't have the numbers in my head, so you can go and look it up on Wikipedia. But uh, I just want to present you this video to, yeah, for your entertainment and to show how fought their way through the meetings with the architect who was in charge for this building. A lot of people in Malmö and in the region don't really see the turning torso as uh, they didn't know how to estimate or how to tackle this project. So in the end, they were completely unable to finalize the project or at all trying to estimate how far and how big this whole project will blow up. So um, while the, they replaced the person who was in charge and who was on the way to fix all these problems, they sort of fired him. A building can yeah, pretty much upset a city or more or less a whole region. So back to the turning torso. The turning torso was not built for the public. It was mainly built to show how influential one company in one region can be. I think it's like MKB or HSB. I'm not sure. One of these countries who were responsible for that building, they also, their original project planner was fired in the process of fixing the problems of the turning torso. So the original company, whether it's MKB or HSB project, which is... Um, a success more or less that the turning torso is just part of Malmö but none of the citizens actually do have any benefit or see this as a part of Malmö in this case. Um, I find this very interesting because of the fact that Malmö is such a yeah it feels uh, like a very fresh and new city and this building is like instantly popping up when you arrive here but there's no real purpose, as you can see. I, I saw, I, there's nothing you can actually see around the turning torso, so it has no real purpose. Thanks for watching, and I hope you had some fun. So, um, see you in the next video. Reassured and promised to the inhabitants of Hamburg that every child who visits and attends a school in Hamburg will get the chance to be or to attend the Elbphilharmonie Hamburg, at least one concert or one show or whatever. So despite the costs, the mayor made sure that every citizen or every younger citizen in Hamburg will have the chance to go to, these, to that building, which was more or less paid by the taxpayers. And um, the Sydney Opera House, which is also one of these trademark buildings uh, built in Australia, I think it was like built in the 70s, of the last century it was also one of these buildings where the original pl project planners had a lot of problems at the beginning of 